monks when a monk knows as they really are both the arising and the destruction of states productive of suffering then indeed the sense pleasures are truly seen, seen by him when he sees the sense pleasures the desire and love for sense pleasures the infatuation and feverish longing for sense pleasures that is inherent in them all this does not obsess him his life and practice are so informed with wisdom that living thus he is not assailed by longing and depression which are evil and unskilled states when monks a monk lives and practices like this it occasionally happens that through a lapse of mindfulness evil and unskilled states arise memories and thoughts pertaining to the fetters his mindfulness is aroused only slowly but then he soon abandons that state drives it out abolishes it puts an end to it just as if monks a man were to let fall two or three drops of water into an iron pot and the um, iron pot that had been heated all day those few drops would soon be wiped out and vanish in the same way it occasionally happens to a monk living and practicing like this but he soon puts an end to it thus monks if a monk life monk's life and practice are so informed with wisdom that living thus he is not assailed by longing and depression which are evil states then monks if a king's ministers friends favorites kinsmen or blood relations should come and offer him wealth saying come good master why let these yellow robes torment you why go around with seven head and ball come on return to the lower life enjoy possessions and do works works of merit monks for a monk so living and practicing to reject the training and revert to the lower life would just be impossible